everyone how's it going this is Errol E welcome today I want to talk about something very exciting but before I do full disclaimer I do work for Microsoft but these are my own thoughts my own my own everything but today I want to talk about something pretty unique that I just rolled out recently and that is called journal now what is journal well it is a Microsoft Garage project. Now, what is a garage project, you may say? Well, a garage project is a few different things. A developer at Microsoft, developers, I should say, would develop an application. And they will put it out there. They have this idea and, and see where it goes. And hopefully it picks up steam and it might be integrated in a application or might become a standalone first party application like OneNote, Word, PowerPoint, something like that. But today I want to dive into Journal and it is a pretty cool app and what is it? Well, Journal, a Microsoft Garage project, is an app for Windows 10. So you will need to be on Windows 10 for this. And it invites people who love to journal to pick up their digital pen express themselves quickly and evolve their ideas so that is really amazing but there's only three things you will need today one a computer primarily with touch but if not that's fine you are able to utilize um, your mouse two a pen so I have a surface pen right here um, I'm on a surface book or you can use a mouse. So there is the computer, there is the pen, and you wanna know what the third idea is that you would need for the garage project or for a journal? There is the most important one. It's not a computer, it's not a pen. It is your mind, your creation, your ideas, and your thoughts. So those are the three you will need. So let's dive in to see what is journal all about. So here we go right here. So we are live. This is journal right here. And, and if anything goes wrong or if we make a mistake, it's fine. Mistakes happen. Mistakes are beautiful things. No one is perfect. But we are going to be diving in and learning today live. So this is journal right here. It is pretty basic, but it's really clean and minimalistic. So we take a look. This is what you'll see on your home screen right here. So you are able to create a new journal. So I can click here. And if we take a look, I can give it a journal name. I can change the different colors and I can add the different icons on what I am journaling or doodling right here. So we can see we are able to create these ideas right here. Now, if we look here, they do give you a tips and tricks one right here. Now, I'm not going to dive into that. If you want to experience all those things and see what it can do, everything's in the description below how to download it and what it's all about. I want to make sure you have that firsthand experience. But let's dive in right now to see what we can do with the journal. Now, if we look here on the right hand side, I could bump this out and I could be signed in with my work or my school account and I can add this calendar to my journal right here to stay on track. But if I click on my profile photo, you can sign in with your work or school account. Uh, this application is all free. You could change the settings for the pen and all of those things. But we're going to dive in right here. So I have a journal for photo shoot ideas. Now I need to get my ideas rolling. So I need to sketch out some ideas right here. So let's take a look on some of the things we can do with the journal app so i have some photo shoot ideas so i'm just going to select here at the bottom a pen and i'm just going to put i not writing but that's okay so we have our different photo ideas of what i want to do 
And let's say, for instance, I have lens here, but I can draw a line. And when I draw this line, it creates a header. So with journal, it knows when you're going to use a header and you can create that. So let's say I want to purchase this. I'm going to put a dot and I'm just going to do 50 lens here. And an eight five. So these are the lenses I'm using for my photo shoot idea. But you'll notice right here, and I'll hover, it creates a list, a selective, a selected content associated with this list right here. This is very important. So I want to, oof, this is a horrible start. So I can flip my pen around, or you can use the eraser here at the bottom. And I'm going to read that. Now, I want to mark this as important. So there is that star right there. So you can see here, I can star an idea, select the content associated with this idea. So you can see what journal, I can write things down. What I can do here is select the highlighter and I can change this color maybe to a pink and I'm able to right here so we can see all the different things that journal could do but I want to add a PDF you can add a PDF to here so I'm going to select it and I'm going to import a PDF and now it imports a PDF right here now if I do the at symbol you know I can at mention someone and they will be able to view this with me in real time. So that is a nice thing that I like with the journal aspect. But let's pop this out right here on the right. We can see now it shows all of my different pages. I can add a page. I can view a card. I can search here. So if I wanted to search for let's say a 50, it's able to search and find where that is and we can see it highlights it so we can see the power of ai and inking and the pen but let's take it a step further we're going to click here on this like funnel uh it's a filter but we can see i can see all my starred items i can see what is my page heading right here i can see what is highlighted so if i had another page and it was highlighted i'll be able to see that but we can see all the different things we can do with journal but here's the cool part right here's the fun part i'm going to i'm going to fix that real quick now i have this journal right here and i wrote it down with ink right with my digital pen but now i want to move this over to legible text maybe in a word document or a powerpoint right i'm getting my ideas jot down so i'm going to remove this star and i'm just going to take my pen and i'm just going to circle it no mistakes but we can fix those so we've removed the highlighter now I'm just gonna circle my idea right here. Now we can see it gives me a few different things. I'm able to keep the ink, I can copy or copy the text, but I wanna create something a little bit cool. So I'm gonna drag this down and we can see we have Word open and when I hit copy, we can see it moves it over. Now my handwriting's not the best, but we can see here I can have everything, our photo ideas, and I just need to change this up a little bit. But we can see how we can navigate and move things around. So that is a little bit on how to utilize journal. I hope everyone loves this demo. And if you did like it, leave comments below. Let me know what you think. And I can't wait to see your ideas that you sketch with journaling. This is Zero E, signing out. Peace.